It's time for you to fire this baby up and learn how to start an aircraft. Let's get into the cockpit. Starting aircraft is quite easy. All you have to do is follow a step-by-step -step procedure and you'll be able to start any single engine aircraft in no time. What you want to start off with is to confirm your parking brake is set and then go ahead and locate the fuel selector valve. Currently it's in the off position, we'll go ahead or you will go ahead and put it in the on position. From here, you're going to move up to the mixture control. What we want to do here is to actually confirm that the mixture throttle does not get stuck. So we'll then in reach the mixture all the way forward and then lean the mixture all the way backwards and confirm no obstructions. From here we'll move the mixture in the full reach position and we'll do exactly the same with the throttle. Advancing the throttle all the way and then reducing the throttle to idle cutoff. From here you'll just increase the throttle a little bit. Usually it's about two to five millimeters or just a bit of an inch if you are in America. And we do the same with the carpet. Now the carpet is now in what's called the off position or cold position. So you're gonna go ahead, pull the carpet to what's called the on position, but we as pilots refer to it as carpet hot. And from here you can go ahead and go carpet cold. Moving along, we'll now switch on the beacon light. Keys can go into your ignition and leave that on both. From here, you will then press on the master battery and then you'll also see some of your instruments start showing alive and you should also hear the gyros spooling up. From here, you can have what's called a primer. So what you wanna do is just almost prime the aircraft about three times. Now you do not want to rush this process so take your time just to um, take it easy as actually this works like a pump function and then once you're done with the third prime just make sure it is primed and locked. Once we are ready for the start we will then look outside of our window just to confirm there are no individuals or persons walking around. We're then also gonna indicate we're about to start by shouting clear prop and then give about three to five seconds. So if somebody is around or in the vicinity of the aircraft, just for them to safely move away. Now we're ready to start the aircraft. You can go ahead and put your tow brakes on and then we good to start so there our aircraft is starting usually it takes about three prop swings for the aircraft to take and then you can just let go of the starter where it will automatically go back to both once the aircraft has started you now need to switch on your alternator and do what's called Rome fry checks. I'll leave that in the description for you. So R is RPM. We need to set our RPM to about 1000 RPM. So we'll go ahead and advance the throttle to 1000 RPM. Then we're gonna go to O, which is the oil pressures and temperatures. That must be within the green within 30 seconds. A is for ammeter. We are going to confirm we now have a positive charge on the ammeter. And then we are moving to M, which is for magnetos. We're just going to do a simple dead cut check. So you are going to move the key to the off position. As soon as it cut out, move it to right, left magneto, back to both. From there, we will then go and set our mixture. Setting the mixture, you want to actually see where the highest point is on the needle rpm gauge so you're going to then start leaning the mixture and you're going to look at the same time at your rpm needle 
so you're gonna see it's gonna start r rising and then there's gonna be a drop so there's a drop so you want to just find that peak or the highest point that you saw the needle and leave it at 1000 rpm once you have set it from here we'll go ahead and retract the flaps uh, flaps if you ask why is it at the bottom that was for the pre-flight inspection then we are gonna check the fuel quantities confirm the gauges are showing as what we have measured in our fuel tanks and just one more time confirm our fuel selector valve is in the on position if you have a radio master switch you'll switch on your radios now otherwise you'll just go ahead and put your radios on the on position and some radios you actually just have to turn the volume knob to turn them on from here you also have moved your transponder and turn it to standby and we are now moving to i which is instruments so we're just now confirming all instruments is in working order and you also now see the artificial horizon has received suction for the gyro so it's now perfectly set so all instruments is looking good from this side and don't forget to check your compass how do i know my compass is working simply by knowing more or less this direction is an easterly direction Lo almost lastly we're gonna go into electrics just confirm all your circuit breakers is in and not pop if they pop they'll stand stand out so you can actually see them and they sometimes just have like a white color around them lastly is safety so you'll just confirm all your passengers and yourself all the seat belts is secured and tied down and you'll go ahead and close all hatches and harnesses and that's it for the start well done on starting your first aircraft i'll see you for that next lesson